Hi, and welcome to the wonderful world of Bend at Pearson Ranch Middle School. This is the flute. It's a part of the woodwind family. You play across the edge right here in order to create sounds. This is how it sounds like. This is the oboe. It's a woodwind instrument and it has a double reed, so the reed has two layers. This is how it sounds like. in the woodwind family because you use a reed. It's just a little piece of wood that vibrates when you blow in it. Um, there's a lot of keys and it sounds like this. <laughs> this is a bass clarinet and you blow through the mouthpiece with a reed on it to make a sound. You have to press down the keys to make different notes and this is how it sounds. This is the bassoon. It is in the woodwind family. Also, it is a wood double reed because it has two reeds. It has two reeds connected together, one side of wood and one side of wood. Um, if you want to play a note, you have to press different buttons to make different notes. Uh, you blow air through the reed to make a noise. If you want a higher note, you tighten your embouchure. If you want a lower note, you loosen your embouchure. This is the trumpet. It's a member of the brass family, and it sounds like this. Hi. This is a brass instrument called the trombone. It's the only instrument with a slide where I don't have to click any buttons to change notes. There is one button on this instrument, and that's called the trigger. It allows me to extend positions really quickly. Here's how it sounds like. Hi, and today I'm going to introduce you uh, to how to play in the French horn. Um, as you can see, this is the French horn, it belongs in the brass family. And in order to play it, you have to bust through the mouthpiece and blow air. And these keys, they help you produce different notes. And to play in French horn, you have to have a straight armature, firm corners, and a flat chin. And if you blow air into the horn, it sounds like this. Hello, this is euphonium. Uh, it's a brass instrument. You vibrate your lips into this mouthpiece to make a sound. And yeah, that's it. Here's how it sounds like. Hello, um, today I'm going to show you how to play the tuba. So as you can see, there are four valves and um, they help you control what notes come out and there's different combinations for different notes. Um, <clears throat> to actually play it, you buzz into the mouthpiece and it sounds like this. And then um, to do that, you have to like just blow air and keeps your lips together so that your lips vibrate and um when you play it it sounds like this this is a snare drum you play it with sticks it sounds like this this is a xylophone you play it with a mallet it sounds like this 
This isn't the suspended symbol. You also play them nods. It sounds like this. Thank you so much for listening, and we hope you join our band family at Pearson Wrench Middle School.